all right so first we're gonna take an a4 size paper and then I'm gonna fold it in half just like this I'll keep the alignment in place so that we get a neat you know equal parts and we don't mess up so that the accuracy remains we have to be accurate as much as we can and now I'm just gonna open this up and I'm gonna fold the sides the sides where the line meets look I'm placing the edge where the line is there and I'm just gonna apply pressure on the sides so that I get a good crease a good plain line and we're gonna do the same with the other part I'm just gonna fold it again I'm keeping the alignment in place I'm seeing where the line is going and I'm folding the paper over there you have to do the same too and it will be much better better if you you know take a A4 size paper yourself and then start with me you can rewind the video and start it again and now I'm gonna fold it again once more both of the sides again keeping the alignment in place and seeing where the line goes I have to apply pressure over there the purpose of all of this is to get a strip a thick strip for the sword you have to be neat in this you have to you know keep your patience and then work with it and when you're done with all of this you have to fold it like this close it up you have to close it and just like this we got a strip the strip that I was talking about a thick strip now this is just the first part this is just the starting and just like this I made the other two so that I get a long sword and I'm gonna attach it to each other but before that we have to work on the end the sharp point of the sword we have to fold it in such a manner that we get a right angle triangle on both sides the right and the left one just like this I've zoomed it so that you get a good view and I hope you're seeing again applying pressure on the sides and then closing it again this part isn't that much difficult you know it's just you have to make right angle triangles you have to fold the edges and you're done and now we're gonna move to the part where we attach the you know the other strip we just have to lift the upper two parts just the upper two parts not the lower one I'm keeping the lower one down I'm just lifting the upper two parts and I'm gonna play you know apply the glue both of the sides and I'm gonna place it again the alignment the alignment should be you know okay correct just work with me see the video watch this video and do it yourself follow each and every step that I'm doing and after every step you know you're seeing we have to close the sword again close the sword again so that we get a good crease and things work out together again the same thing lift the upper two parts let the lower two parts down don't lift them and then attach this piece apply the glue same everything is same there's no nothing new again attach the strip see where the lines are meeting everything is easy just see where the lines are meeting and place it over there apply some little pressure wait so that the glue you know dries up 
sticks up and then again fold it close it again again I'm applying pressure on the side so the way that we get a good crease and now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do I'm gonna apply uh, the glue on the edges so that now we seal the sword permanently look I'm starting off from here and I'm just gonna move forward working just on the edges applying glue just on the edges you have to be careful because you don't have to mess this part up you don't have to apply the glue in the middle layer just the edges because in the middle layer we will you know insert the sticks the paper sticks so that we get the stiffness of the sword but if you you know apply glue on the middle part you're just gonna seal it from there so you won't have any space left to insert the you know sticks over there and that would just you know ruin the whole of your work you have to start all over again again I'm applying pressure I'm just waiting so that the glue dries up and now we have to work on the shaft so let's move to that part I'm grabbing an A4 size paper again this is the fourth paper that will be you know useful for the shaft I'm folding it in half again so that we get a crease on the edge applying pressure so that I get a good crease and I'll cut the paper from there to open this up again look you see the line we have to cut the paper from there just the middle like this we're gonna use the single paper and what I'm gonna do is that you see the shaft I'm gonna apply the glue over there so that I, so that I stick the you know the paper or the half paper over there and I make the sword thick sorry the shaft thick look I'm attaching the paper with the help of the glue see this Just waiting so that the glue you know sticks the paper together and now I'm just gonna lift it and fold the paper I'll do this again and again again and again until the paper you know ends up and I get a thick shaft and this will also be helpful the main reason also is this that when you you know make uh, your design for the shaft it will give you a boundary where to stop you'll understand that you see the boundary on the left this thing gives me a boundary so that where I have to stop my design and again I'm just folding you see I'm folding it from here inwards look inwards so that I get a tidy a neat and tidy shaft it doesn't look rough or untidy or unneat applying glue And then just attaching and closing it up again. And we're done. We're done with this. Everything's closed, everything's tidy. Now a for paper 5 this paper will be used to make the sticks and I'm folding it again in half so that we get a crease on the edges by now you just figure it out it's all about folding nothing else all the steps are same we're using just an A4 size paper and we're just innovating again I have to cut this from the middle like this 
now we will use both of these papers you can use more if your sword is big I'm gonna roll it roll it in diagonal manner the paper is you know giving me a tough time because I have glue on my fingers so it's, it's, uh, it's quite difficult to roll it and and I got it I got it rolling it rolling it again and again moving in a diagonal manner you have to move in a diagonal manner so that you get a long sword or you're or you just mess it up work slowly you don't have to rush you have to keep things tidy and neat and now I'm gonna apply the glue on the edge and I'm gonna close it Again, closing it up and keeping my hand in place so that it dries. Look, I've got this little stick. And the paper that I showed, you have to roll this just like this so that you get a, another stick. Same, rolling. Like for example, I'll show you the stick. I made this long stick by attaching these single short strips together, sticks together, sorry, like this, you see, focus, insert it, just like this, insert every short uh, stick together and you'll get a long stick, but that depends on the length of your sword, if you get a long stick too, you can cut the end the end that you don't want and make the stick uh, the size of your sword that's that isn't that much difficult and now you see the space I'm gonna insert the stick in there also by the way you can insert it uh, uh, the second stick too so that you get you know more stiffness of the sword and it doesn't bend I'm just attaching one uh, one stick you can attach you know two three three is the max the, there's no less space left after three and now you see we're all done now you can copy this exact same design on this sort of yours same thing I just uh, didn't work on the design you can copy this exact design on this I just showed you how to make a sword Everything is same, nothing is different. You see the st stiffness, it isn't bending. Again, I'm gonna shake it again. Look, it isn't bending, stiff. Even one stick is, you know, enough. But you can attach two or three if you want more stiffness and if your sword is bending. And now we're just done. Thank you for watching, subscribing and joining my family. I'll meet you again in a different video. Bye.